We're here now with Amy Anderson, who founded Amy's Armoire. It's a nonprofit profit organization that helps children in the foster care system. So Amy, tell me, you know, what does your organization do? So one of the things we do um, is to help support foster, adopt, and kin families. And we also help biological families when that's appropriate, whether they're trying to get their kids back or maybe in a prevention situation. Um, and we do that in a lot of different ways. Yeah, and you know, what made you decide to start this organization in the first place? Well, I just retired from corrections and the vast majority of people that are incarcerated are people that have a trauma background or who have been in the foster care system. And then we started fostering. Uh, we did that since 99 and there's a lot of gaps in the system we decided we wanted to try to fill. Mm -hmm. And you know, what motivates you to do this kind of work? Um, so, I mean, I started also as a um, child that was in an orphanage in Burlington and I want better outcomes for our children in our state so that they don't um, end up being big people that end up in jails in our system in various ways. Mm -hmm. It sounds like amazing work and I remember when I first met you a couple weeks ago, we went to your thrift shop. So tell me what you do at your thrift shop in Barrie. Our thrift shop is a place that we sell clothing for $5 or less so that we can have a revenue stream to support the families. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is to have people go to our website and register if you are a foster, adopt, or kin family in the state of Vermont because we have a lot of things that are coming forward and it's just the most efficient way for us to let people know about those things. Mm -hmm. And when I was in your thrift shop, you introduced me to the Heart Gallery. So what is that? So we have uh, photos around the store that are uh, children who are waiting for adoptive homes. And so it just gives people a visual reminder of why to come shop with us. None of our staff or myself get paid. It's 100% volunteer run. Um, and everybody knows that the money will go directly into solving the problems as we identify them. Mm -hmm. And real quick, you also have a family center in Barrie. Can you talk about that as well? So that's a newly uh, kind of constructed uh, site that is starting us to have visits with families that are unsupervised. Eventually, I hope to get into doing supervised visits. I'm just not there yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last thing I want to ask you real quick, do you have any goals for the future of your organization? Yeah, we um, that family center is going to start expanding. Besides the visits, we're going to start having peer support opportunities for families. We're going to um, start having gatherings with the community to try and just outreach and explain what it is we do and why there's even a need in the community because a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of ways that people can help that are not time consuming and not expensive. Yeah, that's amazing. And thank you so much for being here, Amy.